Okay class, and today we're going to look at movement. And the art form we're going to use to look at it is Futurism. Futurism was an Italian art movement in the early 20th century. Its aim was to capture the dynamism and energy of the modern world. And we're going to use that today when we look at movement in sport. To find appropriate images for this, I typed into the computer photographs showing sequences of movements, and this is where I found this image. Okay, so we'll start drawing. Have the picture in front of you, and then try and draw it as accurately as you can without taking your finger off the paper. As you can see here, I'm using a pen rather than a pencil. The reason for this? Well, it's a continuous line drawing. I can't rub it out, so any mistakes I make, I might as well leave them there for the world to see. Okay, so I've drawn in the arm and the body. I'm just working my way down to the hips and the legs. All the time, every now and then I'll pause, and that's me looking up at the screen to work out where I've got to go next. Don't worry if you have to draw a line across the body, like you've seen a three on the thigh there. It's okay. It kind of looks like a muscle position. Let's do the drawings. If you think I'm drawing this very fast, I have sped it up a little bit. Uh, probably two times the speed, just so you don't have to sit through all my drawing process. That probably took me about four minutes. I'm not picking a different colour pen. And I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm looking at the next picture in the sequence. So I'm choosing out the same. There's six or seven pictures in, on, the, on the photograph of this dancer, or gymnast. I'm then picking one of them from um, the one where she's leaping here. I'm drawing it just to the side, but I'm overlapping an awful lot. As I'm drawing it here, I realise I've probably drawn it a little bit too big. But don't worry, it's fine. Maybe she's jumping a little bit closer to us. You want to avoid is don't squash the head in. If you're going too near the top of the page, don't try and squash it all in. Start the line, come off the page, and draw back to Amy. Like a photograph. When you take a photograph of somebody and they're too close to you and you crop up the head up, well, that's just how it is. Sometimes the image will go off the page. So you just keep drawing, adding detail where you see it. Like I've just drawn the muscle on the arm. Biceps and the triceps, and I'm not going to do that. And also, I overlap the lines as well. Increases on the t-shirt, like of muscles. Okay, following on from the red pen I can use, I'm going to choose a green pen and draw the next figure in the sequence. And obviously, this is the same person, but we've captured the body at different stages of the movement she's doing. There you go, I've got an overlap in the middle now. So I've created even more overlaps. Now you might think, why are you doing this so you're ruining the drawing? Well, when we come to add the colour later on, you'll understand why. It's almost like we're going to be creating these sort of vapour trails of movement. Okay, look how long I threw the leg in there. I made a mistake there on that uh, shin, but well, too late now. I've done it. No point worrying. Just carry on drawing and try and make the best of the drawing you've done. And the biceps and the triceps then, up to the fore. Okay, everyone now pause just to think, well, where am I going next? What am I doing? Okay, I'm happy with that one. And on now to the fourth figure. I kind of think four works quite well. It looks too confusing, but you kind of want that. With Futurism, they do get messy. I mean, when I showed you those pictures at the start, there's one with a horse with multiple legs. They overlap. You can't quite work out what's going on, first of all. Or the picture of a, of a kind of robot figure moving downstairs. Okay, I'm drawing this figure in now. Working, doing the rib cage, Put on to the hip area. I'm working on. Just looking where the kneecaps would be, where the thighs would be, where the legs would be. On this one here, I've gone so far that I can't draw the rest of the foot in, so I've just left it. Rather than squeezing it in there, making the foot, the leg look wrong, I've left the foot out on the left-hand side. Back up to the arm now, drawing. Each time I'm doing it, I'm getting faster because, well, I'm feeling more confident now. Well, I think I'm going to finish now, just add a little bit more detail. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. I can't wait to see what you produce, and well, good luck.